So now we've hopefully identified the lava's coming, anticipated it. We've used a, a split step to balance ourselves. We have pivoted that dominant side foot back to get ourselves sideways. And now our primary concern is getting back. That's the most difficult direction to move in. And there's two different footwork patterns that you can use and also a combination of the two that are most balanced, most athletic and fastest to get back for the ball. The easiest one of the two, and the one that I generally recommend players start with, is after that pivot, after getting themselves turned to the side, simply use a shuffle step, meaning that your feet will not cross over, you'll just be shuffling back. So split step, pivot, and shuffle. So your feet kind of maintain a, a perpendicular angle to the net, you're gonna be facing to the side. If you're a right-handed player, you'll obviously be facing to the right. Pivot and shuffle back to the spot where you want to be to hit your overhead. The second type of footwork pattern that you can use to move back is a crossover step. This is faster. It takes a little bit more athleticism, but it will get you back much more quickly. So from your split step, you'll pivot and then your front foot will cross over. And basically what you're gonna do is walk back towards the baseline, crossing, your, crossing over your front foot across your, your back foot. And as you do that, your face, your eyes, are going to be looking up towards the ball. This is how you'll see, uh, for example, baseball outfielders go back for a, for a deep fly ball, kind of look over their, their shoulder, their hips will be facing the direction that they're trying to move which is the, the fastest way to get there, but their shoulders are gonna be relatively um, perpendicular to the net. So this is the, the fastest way to move back. Professional players, you'll usually see a combination of these two footwork patterns. They'll, they'll split step, they'll pivot, they'll cross over, and then their last couple of steps will be a shuffle step. So again, split, pivot, cross over, and shuffle for the last couple. That, that pattern, uh, that combination of the two is definitely your best bet. If uh, you know, we're gonna talk about kind of an ideal way to move back, using just one or the other, any, any, any combination or uh, um, just using one or the other of those two is gonna be infinitely better than moving back with your heels first. Uh, much more balanced, much more athletic, much faster, and it's gonna get you in the right spot to hit the most effective overhead possible. So now we're